What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well. Feeling great and enjoying freedom? It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about the spot price of silver falling back down into the $23 an ounce range. Gold fell with it. We also have to talk about some Russia and Ukraine updates because at this point Chernobyl has fallen along with a couple of other details. We're going to get into it but really quick just in case you're new make sure to subscribe for daily videos, subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos, get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club for giveaways. I have one going on right now and it ends on March 1st. Join before then to get entered. Live streams, deal alerts you can watch all of my videos early and commercial free you can watch saturday and sunday's videos right now if you want to and tomorrow morning i have a brand new adventure vlog coming out and of course last but not least go and get your two free stocks by downloading weeble and funding your account everything is linked in the description so today is friday february 25th 2022 the spot price of silver as i'm filming the video is $23.91. It's down 28 cents or down 1.16%. Big red day for silver. Spot price of gold is $18.8830. It's down $15.20 or down 0.8%. Solid red day for gold as well. And of course, the gold to silver ratio is in the 78 to 79 to 1 range but of course that's as i'm filming the video at like 10 o'clock in the morning not as i'm editing posting or as you're watching so head on down to the comments and let me know the date and time you're viewing the video and what the current spot price is for you i'm always curious okay so in today's video we're going to be talking quite a bit about silver and gold and as you can see on display nice little selection the same selection i've had all week we have that five ounce aztec calendar around we have some silver bars we have some miscellaneous coins some junk silver some fractional gold over there but before we can even get into the money i think we need to first talk about the currency along with some updates on russia and ukraine so as i'm sure you've already heard two nights ago russia full-on invaded ukraine it swarmed in and attacked by land air and sea killing dozens of ukrainians and leaving over 100 injured. Those numbers are likely to go up. I posted a whole 26 minute long video on this just yesterday, so go and watch that if you want more information. But then yesterday afternoon, 46 came out to speak about what's going on and to discuss sanctions for Russia. The main takeaway was that we and our allies will essentially be working together to fight back against Russia economically. We're making it so they can't use US dollars, euros, yen. We're freezing their banks that hold a trillion dollars in US assets. And we're making it so they can't grow their economy or strengthen their military. This crashed the Moscow Stock Exchange by over 30%. And it made the ruble, which is Russia's currency, the weakest it has ever been in history. I also made a bonus video yesterday summarizing 46's speech, so go and watch that if you want more info. There was something very alarming that I had mentioned in that video. But now, we have some updates. For example, yesterday we learned about the first prisoners of war over all of this. But to my surprise, it was actually a group of Russian soldiers captured by Ukraine. Ukraine's fighting back right now. They're fighting back hard. But Russia's military is so massive and the invasion continues. So much so that at this point, Chernobyl has fallen. This is a Ukrainian nuclear power plant that Russia now has complete control over. Keep in mind, Putin has already threatened the United States, and NATO countries not to get involved. He said that if we step in, there will be immediate consequences so severe, more severe than we've ever seen in our history before. Putin has also mentioned Russia's own nuclear weapons. But what I learned yesterday is that Russia hasn't been able to properly test their nuclear weapons as we banned their ability to do so 
a long time ago. So technically, we don't know if Russia's nuclear weapons even work or are effective. Russia doesn't even know for sure if they work or if they're effective. Which is probably why we haven't seen a clear and direct threat of a nuclear strike from Putin. But again, Russia now has taken complete control over Chernobyl. So time will soon tell what that will lead to. In addition to that, it's being reported that Kiev, the capital of Ukraine, is expected to fall within days. And it could happen within hours, depending on Russia's push for control. And to my understanding, Putin wants the eastern two-thirds of Ukraine. And if Russia ends up successfully taking over the territories, it's likely to keep pushing for more, potentially for the rest of Ukraine and maybe even expanding the invasion onto other countries beyond Ukraine. Now, with everything going on, we're seeing a massive response, a global response. 46 made his announcement yesterday. The UK is banning Russian aircrafts from its airspace. The EU is accepting Ukrainians that are fleeing. Japan is imposing new sanctions on Russia that include controlling the export of high-tech products, freezing assets, and suspending visa insurance. We're currently seeing a huge response right now. But it's important to remember, Russia's invasion was premeditated. And all of the ramifications, all of the sanctions, all of the punishments, those were already considered by Putin before moving forward with all of this. Putin knew all of this was going to happen, and he planned far ahead for it all. Putin's not a dumb guy. So right now, I don't think he's phased in the slightest bit. But again, only time will tell what's going to come from all this, but those are the Russia and Ukraine updates that I have for now. I'll keep an eye out for more info as it comes out. But now let's take a quick look at how silver, gold, and the stock market are reacting to all of the craziness today. Starting with the stock market, we currently have the S&P 500 up 0.73%. We have the Dow Jones up 0.95%. And we have the NASDAQ up 0.03%. We are seeing green across the board. We are seeing everything back on the rise. Granted, still down from where we were a week ago, but definitely up from where we were yesterday. Now, this actually caught me off guard. And obviously, the markets are incredibly quick to react to world news, geopolitical conflicts, economic uncertainty, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. The markets are incredibly quick to react to everything going on. As soon as the market catches wind of the mildest form of good news, we start to rally. And as soon as we get the mildest form of bad news, we start to crash. So it's not the biggest surprise to see the stock market so green today. In fact, we completely fell apart yesterday, but probably about two-thirds of the way through the day, we actually picked back up and not only recovered, but went far, far, far in the green. This is what we saw yesterday, and today we opened up even more green from where we closed yesterday. So it's very interesting to see, and I'm going to be very curious how the stock market will continue to behave over the next couple of weeks. It's going to be very interesting. Now, before we move on to silver and gold, let me quickly mention, since we're on the topic of stocks, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. They're going to give you two free stocks just for doing so. And if you refer only one friend before the end of the month, you have three days left, they will give you a spin on the Weeble wheel where you have the chance of winning a free share of Google worth over $2,000 right now. And if you refer three friends before the end of the month, again, only three days left, you will be given a guaranteed $150 worth of Apple stock for free. If you don't want the stocks, go and get them anyway, sell them, congratulations, now you have some more currency to get you some more silver and gold if that's what you wanna do. 
time is running out, we will link in the description. And now moving away from stocks, moving away from the stock market and moving away from Russia and Ukraine and all the craziness, let's now talk about the silver and the gold. Very similar to the stock market flip-flopping. Silver and gold have also flip-flopped. Two days ago, I posted a video talking about how silver seems to be sitting pretty securely in the $24 an ounce range. And also, by the way, here on display, we have the five ounce Aztec calendar. We have a Westminster bar, an American flag bar, a 10 ounce silver bull bar. You can't see it because it's covered in gold. We have some Queen's Beasts. We have some Creatures of the North in the bottom corners, some miscellaneous coins, kangaroo, maple leaf, type one eagle, type two eagle, some 90% junk silver, mercury dimes, and then of course some fractional gold coins, Philharmonic, Maple, Eagle, Britannia, Krugerrand, and then a quarter ounce Philharmonic. But two days ago, I posted a video talking about how it seemed that the spot price of silver was sitting pretty securely in the $24 an ounce range. And then upon all of the news that we got yesterday, which started two nights ago after the market was already closed, when Russia officially started to invade Ukraine, that's when we saw all the movement. That's when we saw the stock market begin to fall, and that's when we saw silver and gold really start to climb. Silver went up not only to the $24 range, but it climbed up into the $25 range. Gold climbed up quite a bit as well. And sure enough, as the day went by yesterday, and as we got that mildest form of good news, everything started to flip-flop. The stock market, which was tanking, all of a sudden started to recover and made its way back into the green. Silver and gold, which were climbing up, ended up falling back down. And I made a video talking about how silver climbed up into the $25 an ounce range. But by the time I posted the video, spot price was back down to the $24 range. But that video, as soon as it was done edited, it was posted in the Precious Metals VIP Club. That's where you can watch all of my videos as soon as they're done. If you choose to just simply wait for them to post on YouTube hours and hours later, then that's just what you can do. But if you want to watch them as soon as they come out, Precious Metals VIP Club. Reminder, you can watch both Saturday and Sunday's videos right now if that's what you want to do. But anyway, we saw the spot price of silver start to fall back down a little bit. It fell back down into the $24 an ounce range from the $25 an ounce range, which wasn't the biggest surprise, but I got to admit, I was a little bit caught off guard this morning when I checked the spot price. And as I'm looking at it right now, $23.91. Same for gold, by the way. Gold is back down below the $1,900 range. $1,888.30 as I'm filming the video. This caught me off guard. Now I knew it was gonna come down a little bit, but I thought the $24 mark was that new, as they call it, secure level. But regardless, we're seeing the silver in the red today, we're seeing the gold in the red today, and regardless of what's going on in the world, regardless of Russia in invading Ukraine, regardless of geopolitical conflicts or, or other forms of tension, regardless of political nonsense or what's going on here, inflation, regardless of all of that, I'm still stacking no matter what. And when it comes to the silver, when it comes to the gold, as I've been saying for years now, I prefer the red days over the green days because it just means I can get more money for my currency. I can get more value for my debt notes. I can get more silver for my dollars. So this is exactly what I like to see. And to be honest with you, I'd prefer to go even lower. But there's one thing that I would prefer spot price were to do. I'd rather it go up than sit still. I don't like when silver is stagnant for too long. There's less to talk about. 
Now, of course, if I had to choose between the spot price going up or down, I would choose down. That way I can get more silver and get the best bang for my buck. Of course, that's what I would choose. Why wouldn't I choose that? It's like going to the store to go grocery shopping and choosing between whether or not you want a discount. Of course you'd choose the discount. Why would you not? But at the end of the day, I'd rather spot price go up than sit still. Only because it gives us something to talk about. If I have to start every single day by saying, oh, the spot price of silver is up by 0.09%, the spot price of gold is up 0.2%, that's not anything to talk about. So I personally like it when silver and gold are on the move. In either direction, by the way, up or down. As long as there's movement, as long as there's momentum, as long as there's activity, as long as there's something to talk about, I'm happy. But I'm especially happy on days like today where we can take a look at silver and see that it's down more than 1%, down from the $25 an ounce range, which is what we saw yesterday morning, to now the $23 an ounce range. Now again, who knows what the spot price is going to be by the time this video actually comes out. I'm filming it in the morning and I post my videos around 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that come out in the afternoon in the Precious Metals VIP Club. But regardless, who knows what spot price is going to be by the time the entire day goes by. I mean, it's Friday. It's, it's the last day of the week. Everything's going to be closed up for the weekend. I've grown to hate weekends. They're boring. I don't like it when the market is closed. I don't like it when everything slows down. I'm not a big fan of the weekends, but it is what it is. I'm one of the few people in the world who sit around all weekend excited for Monday, I guess. But either way, we don't know what the near future is going to bring us. We do know what the long term is going to bring us, though, which is why I continue to stack. It's why I'm continuing to play offense and defense at the same time. I might change up my strategy depending on what stage of the game we're in. I've explained this in previous videos. When everyone else is too afraid to be playing offense, that's when I'm playing offense. That's when I'm shooting to score. When everybody is rallying in and playing offense, that's usually an indicator that it's probably the best time to be playing defense. So I play a little bit of offense and a little bit of defense no matter what in the world is going on. But depending on what's going on, that's when I change up my strategy. I don't go 50-50. I might go 75-25. I, I might go 90-10. I do whatever makes sense at the time. As I keep mentioning in recent videos, as the great Chael Sonnen always says, I reserve the right to change my opinion when confronted with new information. But at the moment, that's all the information that I have right now. So I'm going to stick to my game plan. I'll continue stacking the silver and the gold. I'll get a little bit of silver on the dip, hopefully, this weekend if I have the ability to. But for the most part, right now, I think now's the time to more so be playing offense. In fact, some of the wealthiest investors in the world cheer on when there's a war. Because that's usually the best time to be buying into the markets. Which is what I'll continue to do. But I'll be stacking a little bit of silver on the side. And I would say that I'll be stacking a little bit of gold on the side. But I'm currently not focused on gold. I'll, I'll keep a little cash on the sidelines. I'll save up for my next gold coin. But I'm in no rush to get it. I could not possibly care less when my next gold coin will be acquired. Might be in a couple of weeks, couple of months. Might be sometime next year. Doesn't matter, could not be less relevant to me. I'm not worried about gold. Silver, on the other hand, I am going a little bit lighter on silver than I've been in, in recent years, but that's just because I'm a little bit more focused on playing offense right now. But I'm not letting up on the defense. You can't have a good offense without a good defense, just like you can't have a good defense without a good offense. You need both. You need both. You need to diversify, which is what I'm working on right now. I've been stacking the silver and gold for a little over four years at this point, but I've only been playing offense for really about a year and a half of actually playing offense. So making up for a little bit of lost time, and we have some events going on in the world that are opening up some opportunities for me. But again, as I play offense, I continue to play defense. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. When it comes to the Russia and Ukraine updates, what are your thoughts on that right there? What are your thoughts on Chernobyl falling to Russia and, and, and that nuclear power plant now being in 
complete and total control by Russia right now. Meanwhile, Russia is threatening the United States and NATO countries. What do you think the result of all of that is going to be? And then, of course, moving on from that, what are your thoughts on the stock market pre being pretty, pretty green today? Green for the last, you know, hour or so yesterday and even more so green today. What are your thoughts on that right there? And, of course, when it comes to the spot price of silver and gold, what are your thoughts on the spot price dropping back down a little bit? Head on down to the comments and let me know. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. We got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, coffee mugs in a ton of different designs. We even have the limited edition, luck has nothing to do with it, t-shirt and hoodie only available until St. Patrick's Day. Get one while you can. A portion of the proceeds are going to St. Baldrick's Foundation. DYDSS store will be linked in the description. Come and join us in the Precious Metals VIP Club, which is where I do giveaways every single month. I have one going on right now. Join before March 1st if you want to get entered. Live streams multiple times a week. Deal alerts on silver and gold every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free. You can watch Saturday and Sunday's videos right now if you want to. And of course, tomorrow morning, I'll be posting a brand new adventure vlog. And there are a ton of other perks as well. VIP Club link in the description. And of course, last but not least, make sure to go and get your two free stocks by downloading Weeble and funding your account. They're going to give you two free random stocks just for doing so. And if you refer one friend before the end of the month, only three days left, they will give you a spin on the Weeble wheel where you are given a chance to win a free share of Google worth over $2,000. And of course, if you refer three friends before the end of the month, three days left, they will give you a guaranteed $150 worth of Apple stock for free. If you don't want the stocks, get them anyway, sell them, and use the cash to go get some silver and gold if you want. Only three days left. Time is running out. Don't pass up on an opportunity. We will link in the description. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know once again. What are your thoughts on all of the updates that we have so far? Some more information might come out by the time this video gets posted, in which case I'll be taking notes and I'll be making more videos. But what are your thoughts on the information that we have so far? What are your thoughts on Chernobyl falling to Russia and the nuclear power plant being in complete and total control of Russia at the moment? Meanwhile, Russia's threatening the United States and NATO countries. What do you think that's going to result in? What are your thoughts on the stock market being pretty green today? On top of the green that we saw yesterday upon the close. And then, of course, when it comes to silver and gold, what are your thoughts on the spot price falling back down? Silver, back in the $23 an ounce range. Gold, back in the $1,800 an ounce range. What do you make of that? Is that good news? Is that bad news? Do you plan on, as they say, buying the dip? Are you going all in on silver right now? Are you going all in on gold right now? Like I said, I'm not going all in on either at the moment, but I will absolutely be picking up as much silver as I can as soon as I can. That's my game plan. That's my strategy. That's what I plan on doing in the near future. And I'm very curious, everybody watching this video right now, what are your plans? What is your stacking strategy for the time being with everything that we're seeing in the world right now? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.